Nobody controls Ethereum. So how does it stay honest? First of all, you be like. Hey, I'm out here in the crypto capital of the US, Miami, as you can tell by the huge frizzy mess on my head. So let's talk about crypto. So in Ethereum, everyone can vote on every transaction. Much like in real life, voting power is based on money. If I put $1 into Ethereum, I get $1 worth of votes. Let's say you do the same thing. Now we both have 50% of the voting power. Let's say both of us are honest folks and we play by the rules. The network chugs along and everyone's happy. But there's a problem here. The total economic security of this network is $2. What if some jerk comes along and puts in $20? Now, my vote doesn't mean hardly anything. Is this new person who controls $20 worth of voting power honest? I don't know. If they're not honest, they could do all kinds of stuff, like voting to reverse old transactions. If this person's up to no good, they could easily cheat the system. We call this an economic attack. How do we prevent this? Well, by having more people put more money in. Look, I promise I'm not trying to shill crypto here. In our toy example, we had $22 worth of voting power. If you want to stop an attacker from swooping in and taking control, you need to raise the cost of voting power to where that attack is infeasible. Ethereum currently has about 35.6 million ETH, or about $153 billion worth of voting power, spread out over about 10,000 unique voters. If you wanted to cause these sorts of economic issues on Ethereum, you would need about $100 billion laying around. If you want to help add to the security of your favorite proof of stake blockchain, like Ethereum, buy more voting power. Anyway, that's all I got here. I'm Dr. Benny. Like and follow for more.